The Nexus 5X and 6P are official. They're packing Android 6.0 Marshmallow and look really good. But before you pick one up, here are 10 things you need to know. So what's good guys, Jonathan here. And if you're an Android fan, today was a good day. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is design. Huawei is behind the 6P. And even though they made a pretty big impact in the budget market, Google just called them up to the big leagues. So this is their chance to impress. Aesthetically, I dig the look to the 6P, which looks premium as hell and features a brushed aluminum finish that comes in three colors, aluminum, graphite, and frost. The good news is there's no protruding camera, although there is an unmistakable hump that is smacked right across the top of the phone. Now that leads to that giant black strip across the top, which I feel might draw some mixed reactions, but I kind of like it. It's very Nexus. The 5X, on the other hand, follows in the footsteps of the Nexus 5, again with LG behind this one. Unlike the 6P and its brushed aluminum finish, though, the 5X is made out of a polycarbonate housing with three flavors, carbon, quartz, and ice, with carbon being my favorite. And if you haven't noticed yet, there are obviously two different sizes, which leads us into our next point, displays. The 6P is rocking a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 4, whereas the 5X rocks a 5.2 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS display and Gorilla Glass 3. Now it's pretty apparent, especially as we get further into the video, that the 6P is better in pretty much every way, shape, and form than the 5X, which to me is a bit of a bummer because ultimately, at the end of the day, you have to choose between size and performance, which leads us into number three, and that's the internals. The 6P is rocking a Snapdragon 810 version 2.1 with an Adreno 430 GPU and three gigs of DDR4 memory. The 5X, on the other hand, is rocking a Snapdragon 808 and Adreno 418 GPU and two gigs of DDR3 memory. So on paper, that means the 6P is eight cores and the 5X is six cores. And does that mean that automatically the 6P is the phone you gotta have? Not necessarily. Obviously, both phones are gonna perform very well, but if you want the latest and greatest cutting edge specs, you're gonna opt for the 6P. The next step, contrary to all the differences, both of these do have a fingerprint sensor, AKA Nexus imprint. Since there isn't a physical home button on either of these phones, the fingerprint sensor is located on the back and is slated to need less than 600 milliseconds to recognize a fingerprint. These are also said to adapt and to improve over time, which can't be a bad thing, but the one thing I'm curious about is if the Nexus imprint is the same across both phones. Huawei has done a really solid job with fingerprint sensors lately, so I'm curious to see if both sensors are Huawei or if LG was stuck throwing something else in there. So next up, we're gonna talk about cameras and both phones should have awesome cameras. And I emphasize should because that's only if the software matches the hardware. Hardware. Both the 6P and the 5X are sporting 12 megapixel rear shooters. They also have an f2.0 aperture, IR laser assisted autofocus, 4K video up to 30 FPS, and dual flash. Where they differ though is on the front facing camera. The 6P has an 8 megapixel front shooter, whereas the 5X has 5 megapixels. So next up, we're gonna talk about storage. And once again, this is where these two differ. Neither have expandable storage, but the 6P comes in 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte options, whereas the 5X comes in 16 and 32. Now, Apple just got a ton of heat for their 16 gigabyte base iPhone, and just like that wasn't okay, it's a little bit of a bummer to see 16 gigs on the 5X. Again, it's 2015, and 32 gigabytes should really be the base model for all phones. Next up, we're gonna talk about batteries. And just like we've seen throughout the video so far, once again, the 6P is killing in the specs. Inside is a massive 3450 milliamp hour battery, but the kicker here is you're gonna get up to seven hours of use from only 10 minutes of charging through USB-C. The 5X on the other hand has a 2700 milliamp hour battery. You do still get USB-C on the 5X and fast charging, but it's nowhere near as fast. You're getting 3.8 hours of use and about 10 minutes of charging. So following that, we're gonna talk about speakers and the 6P has dual front facing stereo speakers, whereas the 5X only has a single speaker. And if you've ever experienced dual stereo speakers on a smartphone, it is really hard to go back. So following that, let's go ahead and talk pricing. The 5X starts out at 379, that's gonna get you 16 gigabytes, or you can jump up to 32 for 429. The 6P starts out at 499, that's gonna get you 32 gigs of storage. For 50 bucks more, you get 64 gigs, or for 100 more on top of that, that's gonna get you 128 gigabytes of storage. Now the last thing that you need to know is that both of these are running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, which is awesome. You're getting full, unadulterated Android, the latest updates, and I think the best part here is you're not only getting choice, but you're also getting some pretty solid specs to back it up. Aside from that, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Mike Ehrman Trout on that like button. And let me know if you guys are team 5X or team 6P. Part of me likes the size of the 5X, but I'm really drawn towards those specs of the 6P. This is Jonathan and I'll catch you guys later.